Halfway between Australia and Sri Lanka, you'll find two coral atolls made up of 27 different islands with 27 completely unique experiences. And it's all part of Australia, a part that West Aussies can travel to safely. To put this place into context, there's only 14 square kilometres of land across all of the islands, and only two of them are inhabited, West Island and Home Island. And when you've discovered the delights of each of them, it's time to explore further. And my first destination is Direction Island, and it's just a short ferry ride from West Island. Now, possibly the most famous place in the Cocos Islands is this beach these days. It's Cozzy's Beach, and mainly because it was named the best beach in all of Australia back in 2017. And here's the thing about this place. We are on Direction Island, and it doesn't matter what direction you look in, it's gorgeous. This is the ultimate picture-perfect tropical island, and it offers exquisite white sandy beaches, shady shelters, wood-fired barbecues, eco-toilets and walking trails. So pack a hamper, lots of water, and explore this stunning tropical paradise the locals like to call DI. The temperatures are always warm in the Cocos. It's slightly humid, and the ocean water temperatures are gloriously pleasant. Swimming here is safe and very enjoyable, and spending time on the beach is simply sublime. There are walking trails through the palm forests, and the natural environment is something you should soak up and take in. It's a chance to really ground yourself in a tropical island paradise, and the bird life here, crabs and other critters are everywhere to admire, and it's easy to want to stay longer, but there's more to see. DI is one of those places. Get in here early, you've got the whole island to yourself to explore. But in the middle of the day, on some days, you'll find the locals will come out to play. There's 600 people live here on the Cocos Islands. And when they come and they start enjoying this place, well, it brings a whole vibrancy and life to the place that just adds to the whole experience. And if you just can't help yourself, you need to take up bragging rights to your mates back home or around the world. There's even Wi-Fi so your Insta photos will be up in a minute, which is something so many visitors to Direction Island do. If ever you needed proof that we're lucky to live in Western Australia, this has to be it. Now, technically, the Cocos Islands are not part of WA. They're actually part of the Indian Ocean Territories, along with Christmas Island. But we have a travel bubble, and you can only get to them from WA, which means we can come back and forth as much as we want something we should all be doing more of. Mm -hmm.